Hey, what's up guys? Mikas here for WeMakeDanceMusic.com. Today I'm working on uh, the same track, Guided Tour, except I'm in, the, I'm in the breakdown right now. So what I want to do with this tutorial or POV or call it what you may, is to try to bring emotion into the breakdown, you know, having just melodic element and try to uplift uh, the track with what I got plus maybe a little bit more. I did some ARP, I did a lot of changes since last video if you didn't watch it uh, it's a uh, mixing and engineering uh, progressive track and yeah so let's try to bring some emotion up into this breakdown that is right there so let's listen to it i still i have some uh, i added some elements uh, there's a good breakdown now i think it's it's pretty decent let's listen so you guys can have an idea Not sure if it is prog trance, prog house. I think it's turning more to be a bit more prog trance because of the element that I'm adding. To me, it's still just progressive, really. Then you have the pad that is that is gonna cut, it's gonna get replaced by a low pad, like a bass pad here. And then I have the, the riff that's coming in that's a bit of an acid kind of trippy kind of part, so... I think that the, the good thing to do in the breakdown is always to push, push, push and then pull a little bit and then push, push, push and then pull, you know? Try to create movement to be able to punch it in right here when, when the breakdown finishes, so... What I'm doing now, I'm pushing, 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 building up the different elements. That should be here. I'd like to hear a little bit more percussion in this part. So I'm gonna start maybe with this. And then here I'm gonna bring it. And then I'm gonna do some drum roll. Some kick drum. I'm gonna push even further. I think this, this arp can go down a little bit because we have the main element here. It's taking a lot of room. So to me I felt like there was a bit of a clash between between this I'm gonna play it to you guys. So my, my ears told me in the next. So you have this here and then you have this here. I don't think this worked together and on top of this if I remove that I already introduce here some plugs. So that works, but this this uh, this arb there is a bit unnecessary I believe in this part is the same. Definitely better. I think I would like to have a hit here. Uh, however, I'm not really using samples from sound banks. Maybe I should plug into Splice. <coughs> yeah, uh, or something. But I'm not plugged into that yet. So I will try to create one myself, you know, because it's always better, you know, to, to create everything from scratch, I believe at least. So I'm going to go in here. I'm actually going to take it from. Yeah, let's let's do a little trick. There's so much amazing stuff already in Logic. I don't see why I would pay ten bucks a month to you know to get stuff that's pretty much already in there. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna select a sample here, load sample. I'm gonna go browse into that. I want a crash to just like when when after the main port goes up to reintroduce 
to reintroduce the the, um, the part to go there so it's gonna be a bit loud oh yeah that's quite loud I think I pick this one stick a reverb on it actually I can do even better than that I can do that here I can do load sample and I can take the raw crash that was here and stick it straight in the sequencer it's gonna save us some time Save us the MIDI, save us everything, just cancel that. So I just took the sample straight from the Ultra Beat samples. And then I close this here, I'll take this here, I'll take that. I already set up a reverb here, so I'm going to duplicate the channel to have the same reverb onto this audio to here, which is audio four down here. Come here. And then just to reintroduce the second part of the breakdown here to make sure that I preserve because it, there's a bit of a dip here. So the volume is a bit lower, so it should work. Uh, definitely a bit loud here. So let's take it from here. Punch and then I think I would keep that going here. I don't like this drop, I want to just keep it going. And then I'm gonna play with the elements a little bit. This is some automation onto this. I'm gonna use a crash here. I'm probably gonna use this big drum here at the very end. Do another cut. here slowly moving then we're dropping it here again we have four bars here get another two bars here plus a transition here it's not necessary for everything to be squared I mean Forgot to name my regions. There you go. Let's see, get the pad here that is rising quite a lot. I like that, however, those plugs are annoying me slightly. I mean, annoying me, whatever. So, I, I think creating music sometimes takes time, you know, to, to review every part and slowly build it. the processes. So, actually, I think I will keep this 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 uh, ARP here that we just removed a couple minutes ago. Back and forth, I mean, whatever. What I want to do is probably cut some of the top end of it. Because I want to leave a lot of room for this, this lead that is there, so... Something's 
special here. Alright guys, so that's everything for today. Come back tomorrow for another tutorial POV. Maybe I'm also going to do a series of thoughts on the music production and the music industry. So stay tuned, preparing episode 3 of the music production vlog too. So stay tuned, come back to the channel, subscribe, all of it really. So cheers guys.